Ben with Filthy Motorsports here, and in this video I'm going to attempt to show you how an internal bypass works, so hopefully it'll uh, show okay. So this is our cutaway. It's basically a 2.5 uh, king shock with the internal bypass feature, and what the internal bypass does is it, is it essentially breaks the shock into two different shock zones. Uh, you've got a lower zone and you've got an upper zone. So as opposed to a typical bypass shock that has external tubes that allows the oil to bypass the piston, um, depending on where the tubes are located. This actually has a separate compression and rebound um, piston for one zone and then the other zone. So it really is two different shocks in one. Most often we have these set up so the end stroke it, it acts like a bump stop and the rest of it acts like a standard shock. So the first thing that you'll notice is there's a pin coming in from the top cap. This simply comes down through the center of the shock. Um, and then here we've got the the, basically a piston like you would have in any other shock. So this one has um, compression shims on the bottom and rebound shims on the top. Underneath that, here's the internal bypass pack. And again, you've got another compression and another rebound shim in here. A little bit of a different setup, but for simplicity, just look at it as, as two separate pistons. Um, as the shock moves up, you'll notice that the pin starts to work its way inside the shock shaft. Uh, the top portion of the shock shaft is actually hollow through the inside until it gets to the, I guess, the, the red internal bypass shim stack. So as the pin goes there, it'll close a hole. It'll close a hole inside of the shaft and it'll stop the oil from going through the primary piston, which is in this case is the IBP piston and then it forces the oil to go through what would, I guess you typically call the standard piston. So it's a little bit reversed. Uh, in this case, the, the full size piston is your IBP zone. So that's where we would typically valve this as a bump stop. And then through the bottom stroke, all of the oil goes through the top of the piston and essentially uses these uh, compression and rebound shims. So as that works its way up, it, it progressively transitions to the, uh, I guess the top piston, and as it comes down, it will progressively transi transition to the IBP piston. So that's how you get two shocks in one. Uh, it's a great setup, works very well, especially in applications where you don't have room for a secondary bi uh, bump stop uh, or a secondary shock. Uh, we've sold quite a bit of them. The feedback's excellent, so if you have any questions, give us a call, shoot us an email, or leave a comment under this video. Thanks.